In this video, we'll be creating our first build, a simple trigger, and we'll explain the UI as we go. I'll be using the Oculus headset for this tutorial. Let's go ahead and open Builder, log in, and get started. Once you've done that, you'll find yourself in the lobby. Here, you can create a new build, test a remote build, view your recent builds, view recent collaborators, or sign out. Click on the Add button and enter a name for your first build. I'm going to pick my first build. Once you hit Create, you should see different environment options. I recommend sticking to the first and second environment if you're using an Oculus headset like I am. If you're using the HoloLens 2 device, I recommend using the blank room. Let's take a look at our hands. As you can see in your left hand, you'll find the project menu. With your pointer fingers, you can select any item in those menus and poke it. When you poke it, you'll be essentially selecting it. With your middle fingers or your trigger fingers, you can take the corners of objects that you've placed around you and near you and make them larger or make them smaller. You can also take the UI elements in front of you, place those menus, maybe at a height that you're more comfortable. And you can also point across the room and you'll see a selector that follows your finger. That can help you pick a lot of items in the menus in front of you as you work. Now let's take a look at the project menu. Under Create, you can add and manipulate 3D objects to your builder scene. Over here, you can manage and edit scenes inside your app. Your project settings allow you to save, rename, and share your build with the world. Over here, you can preview your scene as if you were the user. This allows you to teleport around the scene by clicking on the floor. Here, you can see the hierarchy of all the objects in your scene. Exit allows you to return to the lobby and clear objects clears the base data from the scene. Okay, creating a trigger. In the project menu, tap on create. The create submenu should appear. You've got options to create primitive shapes, a menu of UI elements, a 3D frame that can hold images, a speaker for music or audio, the options to import 3D models from your OneDrive account, a text box, and a Bing map. Let's select the cube. You can place it a few feet away from you and we can change the size and the color. I'm gonna pick blue. You can pick whatever you like. Now, we need to import our 3D model in the project menu select create, then import, then choose the rover asset and place it at around the same distance as the cube. And I'm sorry, my rover asset came in super big. So I need to resize it, rotate it, and then place it at about there. That's good. Next, we'll be using actions and triggers to reveal and hide our object. Select the rover to open the object menu and select actions. In the actions menu, select hide or show. Then at the bottom, toggle the switch to enabled. Now let's go to the queue. Select the queue and in the object menu, select the triggers button. Then select the press button. And in the Build Objects menu, add the rover with the little plus sign. Now, in the Available Actions menu, right next to the toggle visibility, select the Add button. In the Action Settings menu, up at the right, toggle the Enabled button on. Now, at the bottom, go ahead and go all the way back. In the Project menu, Select Preview. And there you have it, your first trigger action. Every time a user selects the cube, it'll turn the rover's visibility on and off. In the next video, we'll focus on making a chain reaction. 